So now you should have uh, the point moving randomly, getting drawn, then you delay, and then you erase. And I call this the draw, sleep, clear. This is the order you want to do things. And this is the effect you should have. I sped the speed back up to 50 millisecond delay. All right, I don't want the point to move randomly. I now want it to go to the right. So instead of this move to random location, what I'm gonna do, I'll do dot dot x, <laughs> that's funny to say, uh, equals one more than it is, and then hit play. All right, so it's not moving randomly. The x coordinate is increasing by one. And you can see it's very slowly moving to the right. And now you can see the delay is way too long because we're only moving one pixel at a time. So the delay needs to be dropped a lot. Let's try a 10. Should be reasonable, there we go. All right, that's pretty good right there. You can even go down to five. I'm gonna leave it at, whoa, what happened? The point just went right off the screen. Think about what we're doing. We're increasing the X value, and then we're increasing the X value, and then we're increasing the X value. At some point, it's gonna obviously go past the width of the panel. We don't want it to do that. So, we could put if statement. If dot dot X greater than panel dot get width. All right, what do we wanna do in this situation? Basically this, except we wanna go minus. Now we have a little problem here because this will stop the point on the right side of the screen, but I think it's gonna get stuck there. Okay, so it just left the screen. So we either have to add one or subtract one. We can't do both, that doesn't make any sense. And that's why I created DX. So we're gonna do, before we get into the loop, we're gonna initialize DX to speed. Now I capitalized some of these because they're final, which means you can't change the value once the program's running. So once they get their initial two, three, 10, and you hit run, you cannot change the value of these variables because they're final. And a good word for these are called constants. So even though they look like variables, they're actually constants. Once you set them, they can't change. So DX gonna be set to speed for us was positive two. So I'm gonna do dot dot x equals dot dot x plus dx. So this will add two each time. Now, what are we gonna do if the x value is too big? Instead of subtracting, all we're gonna do is we're gonna change dx. Now, what can I do here? There's a few things I could just do negative two, that'd be one option, but I'm just gonna go negative speed. So it'll take the speed value and just make DX negative of that. And look at that, bounced off the screen because it's now adding negative speed. So it's decreasing that. You can hit this X button to stop it from running. Just to warn you, it's gonna give you a little red uh, build stopped because you stopped it in an abnormal way. That's fine, that doesn't matter for us right now. Okay, so this stopped it from going off the right. How do we stop it from going off the left? Before we do that, let's label our point. So I have a draw label. Nope. We're gonna do label point. This draw label uh, draws the distance at the top of the screen. This label point is gonna label the point P. First thing we need to do before we label the point is we're gonna to need to turn the x, y coordinates into a string. And good news is we've already got most of that code in the two string, or not in the two string, in the print point. So we're down here, print point. 
I want to grab this. In the two string method, I want to get the x, y coordinates of the point, but I want to return them as a string. So instead of printing this out, we're just going to return this string and it's going to be parentheses, x coordinate, comma, y coordinate parentheses. For me, I don't necessarily want a space after the comma. You can totally leave it there, it's fine. So now we can turn a point to a string. So we're going to draw a point. So g dot draw a string. Enter. All right. So we got the method that turns our point, the x y coordinates, into a string. So that draw string can have a string as the first argument. Now the second and the third, these are the x, y coordinates that we're going to draw. We're going to do dot x dot y. Now as you can tell, it's a little overlapping on the point. You can fix that. That's not too hard to fix. Just have a little offset. Now it's still going to go off the screen on the left. So we still have a problem. You are going to fix that problem. Uh, but first, what I'm going to help you with is turning these into methods right here. This, all these lines right here are move point. And again, dot doesn't exist here, but P sure does. So we're going to go P in there move point dot all right so we drew the point now this is labeling the point and you are going to go into the label point and put that code i just deleted inside label point so that when you run it, it will display the point with the label next to it. 